today is the cheapest exhaust off Amazon. We have the mid pipes. We have DNA motor and cat back. And we have a truck. Because in order to do an exhaust in a truck, you, you need a truck. So I'm gonna start it up for you so you can hear the ratchetness that I'm trying to get rid of. And uh, I will explain a few things about why I got the exhaust and when we're gonna put it on. All right, so my exhaust is cut right here. It's about right after the cab. My exhaust tip hangers broke like six times over time and I had Kevin, big big shout outs to Kevin. I had him weld the hangers and they just kept breaking. So after like a month of them dangling, my muffler was right here. After them dangling for so long, they basically ripped my mufflers open and then we found out that the Magnaflow mufflers, the internals were just shot. So instead of trying to weld them back up and trying to weld the mufflers back closed where the pipes were welded on. The walls were too thin, they would have penetrated the metal. It just wouldn't have worked out. So we hacked them right here, the same drones. You can also hear some metal flapping around in here, more than likely from a failed mid pipe. New mid pipes and a full cat back exhaust system from DNA Motoring. The uh, DNA Motoring cat back was only 197 bucks, so I'm all about it. It's gonna sound better than it does right now, and we'll get rid of that rasp, hopefully. It's not in the actual header cat. So uh, I'll start it up for you in a minute so you can hear what it sounds like. That will give you an idea of just how raw the exhaust sounds and you can hear that you can hear that flapping noise that's clearly failed exhaust components so this will replace the first units right off the header cats and then our full cat back exhaust we'll break that out here in a minute and you will see it laid out across the driveway so you can get an idea of what we're doing oh, this is all that spackly nonsense where i had it cut off at and the hanger is pretty much going to be a mess so i'll probably have to have new hanger mounts now, I've already got hangers on the new exhaust, but I'll have to have new mounts for the truck put on because some of them broke off, I'm pretty sure. Crap it old junk. Let's do a, a raw startup of like just headers. Well, headers and cats. <laughs> After that we can confirm that our flappy metal noise was one of these because I don't hear it anymore with open headers. The open headers don't sound too bad. Alright everything is installed. Put some uh, WD-40 on all bolts and nuts coming off. We got like 160,000 miles so we try to pre-lube everything just to make it easier so you don't break anything. The exhaust system just two bolts two gaskets pretty simple ends up bolting to here and then this is a slip on with a flange type piece to slip in with a little u-bolt clamp i guess you could call it and then this u-joint type thing here this bent pipe goes to the muffler this is a one piece that also bolts to the mid pipe so it's pretty stationary nothing can be altered here and then you get to kind of like rotate the muffler how you want to get how you want it to clear everything underneath and then down there there's one pipe that connects to the back side of the muffler and then that goes over the axle then from there there's another slip on that is the muffler tip itself and this thing sounds so much better oh my gosh we're about to start it up for you so you can hear it and honestly i want to take it for a drive and see how it drives and see how she performs you can clamp them and rotate them and you can set it up to kind of be at whatever angle you want it to be which is kind of cool i like the versatility of it for sure and then i think from like far back you can see a little bit of the tip sticking down which is cool so it's kind of really secluded versus before the exhaust i cut off had tips that kind of came out and were exposed which i guess looked all right back then but i'm definitely ready for a different look so uh we'll rock that too <laughs> to what it was it sounds so much better for new cat mid pipes 
full exhaust. Sorry, this probably looks really dorky. 197 for the full exhaust from the cats and mid pipes back. Like 100 bucks for the mid pipes, so $300 for basically a brand new exhaust system. And when I had the mid pipes off, I started it up open header just to listen for that flapping metal that I could hear from my halfway pipes that are now over there. I did not hear the sound, so I'm going to assume for now that my manifolds and the cats attached to them are okay. So for now, without having to take it anywhere in the driveway, $300, Amazon, can't beat it. Sounds wonderful compared to what it did. Before it was just annoying. All right, we're gonna take it around the block, see how it drives. Actually, extremely quiet. We'll go down into first. It's definitely not as loud as it was before, but I do not care about how loud it is because it was just loud as hell before and I could hear that rasp. So the quieter to the better, like when we would play movies on the way out to the lake, the drone was just so bad because the other exhaust was cut like right underneath the passenger seat right there. Well, it definitely gets louder once you give it some juice. It sounds way better. Way, way better. It is so much quieter. Seems like it's getting used to the amount of back pressure I have now. Another thing I want to point out is I got kind of lucky and none of my hangers matched up because my exhaust was custom before. So I actually took a grommet from one of my existing hangers and I slimmed it down and uh, I put it on the end of my exhaust hanger and put it in that hole up there. So now technically my exhaust is mounted, which I love. You can see it right there. So now it's just chilling. For now that will work. Stay tuned. If you uh, have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to stay up the best I can. We do grow every day, so eventually it will get overwhelming. Uh, please, consider, uh, please consider subscribing. Like the video if it answers some questions, if it intrigues you. Don't forget we have the Corvette Pro Charged. We're about to do the R888R drag radials. They're already in the garage. Just got to mount them up. And I've uh, got the turbo V-Rod. Probably haven't seen one of those before. And uh, we cover vlogs and pretty much all of them. Haven't done much truck stuff, but we had to get this exhaust. And might as well vlog it because I'm a vlogger. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.